Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I'll be doing a review on this rifle here. This is the Air Arm S410. Look at that. It's another um, precision PCP rifle, Air Arms logo. Uh, and here you can see made in England. Okay, here made in England and .22 caliber okay so um, yeah this is a, another very nice precision rifle it's similar to the uh, takedown rifle that I, I had uh, reviewed recently and the whole thing about this is that it got a full stop okay nice full stop not a lot of um, wood grains and stuff showing like the Evenix, but then it's still very nice. Here I also uh, put a nice silver color mount with double strap. See, very nice mount, match the guns very perfectly, just like the color of the bolt. See, okay, and also a BSA scope, very badass. And um, this version is the super light version. So the difference between the super light and the other version is that this one have a shorter barrel, and so it's more compact. It looks more compact here like that. Okay. While the other one have a longer barrel and will take up more space. You see, when I put put it here like so, you see it's very short. And also the um, checkerings on the uh, stock and the uh, grip here is very typical air arm style, like that kind of design, very nice. And uh, yeah, the whole thing feels very good, compact, compact hunting hunting rifles. Now compared to the air arm, compared to the takedown rifle, okay, the wood. It's better here because it's walnut and also they have good check rings uh, on the other one but this one is kind of like a uh, other kind of texture it looks like that so yeah okay <clears throat> the gun here feature a um, dovetail rail and you can mount a scope here or you can use the um, Weaver rail adapter to convert that to Weaver rail and then use other kind of mounts, whatever. Okay, so take a look at the gun close up. Here goes the stock, the rubber pad. Just a note here these holes here, um, they're there for reducing the uh, recoil the shock vibration whatever when you hold the gun even though they have zero vibration and of course you can see the stock is very shiny because I just uh, put some wax on it very nice stock oh the trigger the trigger here is fully adjustable you can use an wrench and uh, adjust it okay and uh, here you go free floating barrel and ta -da, right here okay this here is the cap that you have to unscrew to pump the gun up or to uh, charge the gun up so when you unscrew this thing here is where you use the uh, filling adapter okay let me show you that and here oh, just a sec and here, this muscle brake thing, okay, oops, you can actually unscrew that, but, uh, ah, there we go, there's the uh, little, little thing here, the hole, this is a screw, you have to unscrew this, okay, let me see if I can show you, yeah, you can see the circle, you have to take uh, an Allen wrench here, unscrew, and then you can twist it off. So yeah, just cosmetic stuff, doesn't do anything much. So yeah, take this off. And here we go. 
the air arm um, fooling adapter and this you put it on here like so okay and then you have to fiddle around so that it clicks in okay everyone you see this is the unique air arm fooling adapter it clicks in and then you have to go like that and now this is secured and uh, you can fill the gun up if it's not like that okay <laughs> then uh, the thing will pop off so yeah that's the fun thing about it the other the other um, thing is here um, I think okay I think most of the air arm rifle comes with an adapter like this but without the quick disconnect uh, uh, thingy here let me show you one uh, okay Here we go. This is the original um, adapter that comes with my takedown rifle. It looks like that. It a different kind of fittings. This is a, I forgot what they call that. BBSP, something like that. Okay, whatever. Okay. So, yeah. We're trying to, f let me take that out. Okay guys, so here are the two. Uh, okay. You see, it looks like that. So here I would like to uh, thank the air gun source because they um, actually put the adapter on. So convert the threading to um, quick disconnect and now we can use it with the pump. So it's a easier to handle. You see? That's the difference. Okay, so I'm not sure if you buy air arm rifles, will that come with the quick disconnect? But it's always best to ask the, the uh, mentor. And if they're good, they take care of you and get everything together for you. Okay, so let's put this back on and then take a look at the other side. The other side looks like that. Okay nice wood pattern and of course don't miss this out here is the meter that shows how many air how much air you have usually you pump it up to 200 bars or a little bit lower than that and you can shoot quite a lot okay it's not a long t uh, pumping session actually. It takes about uh, 60 pumps or so to pump up the gun. Not that bad. Okay, everyone, and uh, here I'll show you the mag. To operate the mag, you need to pull the bolt. So, ticked up like that, pull it back, and then have your finger, the thumb, cross over to the other side, like so, and then pull. Okay, you feel a solid click. And then now when the bolt is pulled back, you can take the magazine out. The magazine looks like that, okay, and you can see inside here my bolt will go in and out, in and out like that. Okay. So that's the magazine. It's a typical uh, air arm magazine. Okay. To load the magazine, you have to uh, put one finger here and then put a pellet okay, inside here and then you rotate, see, you rotate, rotate and then put one, rotate and then put one like that and then you put it back inside. Here there's a uh, small o-ring which you need to be oiled. You can use Pelgan oil or something like that to oil that once in a while so that it's going to seal well and uh, that's all. Very easy to uh, to maintenance. Okay, so it's, uh, it's a very fun gun. So it's a fun, super fun gun. So you will need a lot of mags. <laughs> Whoa, can I show you all that? You need a lot of mags here. <laughs> so, 
So we got seven mags here all together. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna shoot a lot. And you need all these mags to feel the fun of these guns. Okay? And usually um, when I store the gun, I uh, put the mag in, put the bolt in like that, and then discharge one time. Okay? And now the gun will not fire anymore so that it's safe to store. And here you will miss this, but it's on the trigger, uh, that's the safety. Okay, the other side, this is the safety. Okay, so everyone, um, we'll shoot the gun now at some target and do some target shooting, uh, uh, bottles breaking and stuff like that. So let's go, take a look, and we'll go to the range together. Let's go. Okay, guys, this is the first target, uh, wine bottle. So let's wrap that up. There we go, wine bottle. We're gonna shoot, shoot at the A, little A there. Okay, everyone, move back to about 16 feet. Let's go. Oh, one shot and it's down. Don't you see that? Okay. Wow, holy crap. Okay, everyone, one shot and it's down. Take a close look at that. Okay, zoom out. Okay, guys. One shot, all gone. Okay, very nice. It's a good thick wine bottle. Okay, guys, this is this is a uh, pickle jar. Usually, with the sticker on, it's harder to um, to break, but we'll try it again. Uh, this time with a good rifle. <laughs> Let's see if we can bust it right here. Okay, moving back. Ready. Woo! Wow, this gun kills everything. <laughs> Let's take a look. I think it's down, one shot, and it's busted. Okay. Come on. Opens up. Woo! One shot, and it's down. Well, if you can recall from my um, video in 2012, when I used the um, pellet shooting rifles, uh, especially with the .22 caliber, uh, even uh, with the Benjamin uh, B, no, sorry, Ye B20, it can't break a beer rifle with the uh, pellet. But right now you can see it's obviously very scary. Okay. One shot and it's down. Big hole, super huge impact. Wow, impressive. So this is a um, thicker glass bottle, it's thicker. And we're gonna put the cap on too, so let's try that. Tie it up, just in case. So, here's the bottle. We're gonna shoot at the sticker this time, so it's gonna be harder for sure. And also, we got a can beside it for the second shot just to test the can out. Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, glass bottle. Let's try one shot at the uh, can. One shot at the glass bottle again. Okay, not sure if the glass bottle um, 
It's broken yet, but let's take a look. I shot two shots already, should be good enough. Let's see. Okay, first here's the soup can. It blasted through one side. <coughs> wow, scary shit. And then the other side, woo, went through. Powerful. And uh, oh my, look at that. You see this uh, shot here? It landed right at the toughest spot. You see? Here's where two layers of the can uh, meet. And then it went through the other side. Oh wow, holy shit. This thing is scary. Okay. Now let's look at this one. Did it, did it break? <laughs> okay. Just a sec. With the labels on, it's always so hard to break because uh, the label is gluing the thing together. So let's see. Hmm. It did, actually. Woo! Look at that. It did broke internally and externally. Sorry. Uh, just a second. Let me get the annoying bag around uh, outside. Hmm. Typical YouTube style of filming. <laughs> okay, so you see, broke a hole here, ping, and then here. So basically, the the jar is being glued together by that sticker only, but it it did already. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, guys, here is another one. Um, it's a jam bottle on the right, and then. Uh, Clay this target on the left. Okay, let's take a look. Clay this target. Woo! Breaks easily. Now the jam. Busted. Try one more shot on the clay this. Woo! One more shot on the jam. Scary shit. Okay, everyone, look at that. This is good stuff. Okay, the clay this target, never mind. So easy to break, but you see how nice that break is? Wow, look at that, eh? Impressive. Now, let's take a look at this. It broke on the first shot already, but you know, as usual, you want to see some um, brutal stuff, so <laughs> I did two shots. Ensure that the can, I mean, the bottle is dead. <laughs> okay. Wow. Woo! Even with the sticker. Oh my, look at that. See, even with the sticker, it's all broken. Wow, nice shot. Okay. This is very, very brutal. Look at that. Ooh, bloody hell. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, guys, so here we'll do some, um, Target shooting, precision shooting, so you can see the penny on the right side as a reference. And now we'll be shooting uh, at these bullseyes. It's pretty small, so let's take a look. We're now at about uh, Shooting at the center. Third shot. Fourth shot. Fifth shot. Okay, very nice, eh? You can see that the grouping is very tight and I'm using some cheap pallets only. First one on the left. Okay, right side, the uh, top row. Left side, the lower one.
the right side. Okay, after some casual shooting, let's take a look. I'm not really aiming very hard and stuff like that, but okay. I'm not aiming very hard, but then it's a pretty nice uh, result. Yeah. It can get a lot better uh, if I'm going to try harder. But, well, you see, I'm just doing some casual shooting. And it's very casual, actually. But this thing here is a five-shot grouping with a .22 caliber. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so I know you can't do much better with this rifle. Uh, with you know more patient less rushy whatever you know you can't do better <laughs> but yeah you see this is a very impressive result and this is the penny size too wow look eh? okay so everyone thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye bye